Welcome to the Sonic Showroom. I'm your hostess, Zanny. Thank you for joining me today. I am so proud to introduce my first guest on the Sonic Showroom. He's a multi-talented singer, songwriter, and producer. His name is Kelly Raven. Hey, hey Kelly. Wow. Good to see you. <laughs> She ain't coming back uh, from Kelly, Raven's current hit, which is quickly rising on the pop charts in Europe. Um, this is Kelly right here in the studio with me today. Welcome to the Sonic Sharo. It's a pleasure to be here, rock and roll. Um, first, I'd like to hear about your song, Black Friday. Oh, yeah. Um, Black Friday is was inspired um, by my... Um, short-lived marriage um, I recently went through a divorce and uh, I don't know it's kind of it, it, it's kind of an up-tempo love story but um, it's not really getting back <laughs> so to speak at the wife but it's kind of my little ode to her um, letting her know that it's it's just another black Friday without her around you are presently working on a video for Black Friday. We're working on a video for Black Friday. We uh, should be going into the editing uh, uh, part of it very soon. And got some really good shots of the band and, and, and the director and I. Um, got some really good footage. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but yes, we are. And uh, we hope to uh, have that out uh, by, before the end of the year. All right, good for you. And Kelly, about your recently released CD in Fantasy, mm -hmm. which you are currently promoting on tour, mm -hmm. who produced this album? I did. Wow. Yes. So uh, you do producing as well? Yeah. Um, 
I, I've actually produced uh, the last three albums of mine, um, which is in Fantasy 2009. Okay. The previous album, uh, which, was which was simply titled Kelly Raven, um, which was my other full length. I had done a, kind of a, what you call like an EP in 2005. And uh, prior to that, I had always been working with some pretty top-notch guys, but um, you know, I, I, I learned so much from them and figured why not, I can go ahead and do this myself. Good, yeah. and did anyone help you in all this or? Um, to tell you the truth, um, no, I did it all myself. It, I, I, I kind of built a formula um, back in the 90s when I was working with the producer Howie Rice. Okay. And uh, it was pretty much himself, the engineer, and me because I, I play all the instruments on all the albums mm -hmm. thus far. Um, actually, this, the, the new record we're going to do soon mm -hmm. is going to feature the entire band. And uh, so I'm really excited about that. But as, as of now, I produce uh, all the stuff myself, as well as other artists of uh, various different genres. It's pretty interesting because uh, all my tours and, and, and um, up until about a year ago, um, I've always had a two guitar type of thing because my stuff's it, it's pretty guitar heavy and, and it's got interesting stuff going on. But um, I've, I've been going out the last two tours as a one guitar okay. and uh, we use a sequencer and it, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big sound. We sound like the record and uh, I'm loving it and they're loving it. So we're going to keep that as our, our live formula. Sounds very exciting. I can't wait to listen to your next CD. Oh, and cool. uh, do you have any guest appearances on the album? On in fantasy, mm -hmm. um, no. The actually the only guest appearance on this last album in fantasy from 2009 okay. is uh, my ex-wife, and uh, she's a flautist. And uh, try and picture her in the band, but she was actually in the band uh, the last tour when we were supporting the last album. So she's the only uh, one that's uh, actually playing a lick um, on my new record. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What other songs did you bring to share with us today? Um, I brought Bad Boys for Life, which is from the 2007 release, uh, Kelly Raven. Okay. And it features a song uh, by my, one of my dearest, dearest friends, Lemmy Kilmister from Motorhead. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just sat down. I was like, dude, you know, we got to do something together, finally, you know. <laughs> so we wrote, uh, knocked out this tune, and in, uh, it, it did pretty well uh, last year. And, and, and it's doing okay, fledgling again, <laughs> you know, in Europe. But it's a great video, and it's pretty uh, ballsy, so to say. And I guess this is it. You seem very passionate about your music. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's very good. Thank and you. Uh, let's take another look at Kelly Ravens with his longtime friend and collaborator, Lemmy, from British metal band Motorhead. This is Bad Boys for Life. Huh? You don't 
And we're back with Kaylee Riven. Uh, Kaylee, how long have you known Lemmy from Motorhead? Oh, wow. I have known Lemmy from Motorhead 20 plus years. Um, wow. We've actually been very, very, very close dear friends mm -hmm. um, for about 18 years. Um, I met Lemmy, <laughs> my sister Nikki, who uh, you just saw in that video okay. um, was his companion for quite some time and she introduced us and it's been brotherhood ever since so um, Lemmy and I have been have been brothers dear friends for 20 years we actually followed Kelly to a recent Motorhead concert in LA and uh, caught exclusive look at backstage area after the show <laughs> You're wearing my This is what of happens gauze. when the Nokia theater gets a hit. Don't gets, jerk the can. Gets, gets their hands on the Motorhead show. Okay? Nice. But, any, but anyways, um, crew's uh, loading out. And, uh, nice. Motorhead live on stage. Okay. And then we walk on down the hall. Walk on down the road. 
You are currently in the midst of your in fantasy tour. Mm -hmm. How is it going for you? It's going. It's going well. Okay. Um, we're getting great crowd response. Okay. Um, the band is just playing the record like flawlessly, mm -hmm. and um, we're looking forward to picking it up uh, after the end of the year, um, so we can hit some of the cities and towns that we uh, didn't get to hit this year. Um, that's about it. It's going very, very well. And I want to say thank you to anyone that might have come out and supported us. And uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Sounds good. And uh, talking about the cities, which other cities that um, you'd like to go to that you haven't been to yet? Oh, well, you know what? I got to be honest with you. I've been to every city in the country. Wow. Um, we, didn't, we didn't hit every city in the country on this tour, but as a touring artist, I've played everywhere. Um, but we would like to get it to the East Coast. We did the Midwest okay. and the West Coast thus far. Sounds good. Can you tell me a little bit about your bandmates? Yeah. Um, uh, Scotty, the bass player, okay. <laughs> is just an amazing player, amazing guy. He's mm -hmm. just... Um, we call him our strawberry teddy bear because he has like really long, beautiful strawberry blonde hair. Okay. Um, but he's just like the teddy bear. Sheldon, the drummer, is one of those guys. You know, a lot of people come up to come up to me and and and. And Scotty are like, oh, your drummer, he's so quiet, and he's this and that. And it's like, yeah, get him around us. You know, this guy never stops. But um, great player. Um, I'm very, very, very blessed to um, have these two guys uh, playing my stuff. And um, I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I absolutely plan on putting them on the next album that we're getting ready to go in over the holidays. So it's... It, it's uh, taking Kelly Raven to the next level where it doesn't just focus on me okay. and I'm going to really showcase these boys and bring it to you. Good for you. And now let's go back in time. Uh, where did you grow up? Where did I grow up? Mm -hmm. Okay, I grew up in New York City. Okay. And uh, my sister and I, um, who I mentioned, uh, we grew up in New York. We were, we were what you call SAG babies. So um, we grew up in the entertainment industry. My folks actually met on the James Brown Chitlin circuit. My mom used to dance for James Brown. My dad was a drummer. They hooked up. Uh, we got into the rock and roll thing, moved out to LA to pursue music, okay. and I finally got a deal, and uh, that was the end of that, so. Sounds good. And yeah. when did you first begin to play music, and what instrument? I started playing music at a very young age. I was three years old because, like I said, my, my folks had a rock and roll band. Mm -hmm. And um, I was actually in my first rock and roll band when I was seven. We were called the Children's Workshop. Now, I want to know, was there someone in particular that inspired you to be a performer? Oh, yeah. Um, th my parents, of course, okay. watching them do their thing. Um, Got to give it up to Michael Jackson, um, definitely. Um, and as far back as uh, the British Invasion. Okay. And when I was 12, I saw Kiss, and that was it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'd have to go with those, with those off the bat. Okay. And so you liked Kiss. What kind of music did Kiss play? Kiss played rock and roll. Okay. Um, at the time I was coming up in the 70s, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was like Disco Sucks or Kiss. You know, and I grew up in New York, so it was totally Kiss. Um, and just to see, to see them larger than life, the, the type of songs they were putting out. You know, 12-year-old kid listening to Love Gun. You know, and watching these guys really, really rock your socks off just yeah. bl blew me away. So um, that's, that's probably what made me say, that's what I want to do. Okay. And so did you start off as a young boy? Did you start singing in church or? No, no, no. I, ne I, I never sang in church. <laughs> But uh, I, I just started singing at a young age. Like I said, I was in my first, my first rock band. I was seven, okay. and it was a band my dad put together, and we were called the Children's Workshop, and I played a mean drums, and we actually played the rock opera Tommy in its entirety, and uh, that's when I was seven years old. All right, and at that point, did you also start writing your music? When did you first start writing your music? I started writing my music uh, at a very young age. Okay. Um, I would probably say around eight or nine. Wow. And I was the kid who um, 
all the kids were you know, knocking on the door. Come on, dude, let's go play some stickball because I'm from New York. Stickball off the curb or some handball. And I was just like, nah. And my mom bought me two little, you know, those <laughs> two little cassette players, you know. And I'd start, you know, making records, you know. Put one track here and then another track there and bounce them back and bounce them back. So, yeah, I started uh, really getting into songwriting and arranging at a young age. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I don't regret it at all. Very impressive for a very young kid to start at such a young age. Yeah, it's, a, bl it's age. a blessing. It's a blessing, it's absolutely. Who produced your very first album? Um, the very first was produced by a gentleman named Howie Rice. Um, he is responsible. This is how I got to work with Kiss mm -hmm. and various other uh, phenomenal artists. Um, Howie Rice produced my first full length for a uh, major label, Giant Records. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he, he's responsible for Kiss, the Pointer Sisters. Um, um, just a lot of great bands in the 80s. So I learned from him. And uh, don't need him anymore. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, so Howie Rice uh, produced my first album. Sounds good. Yeah. And I've also heard that you're a collaborator on several rock albums. Tell me about some of the other musicians you've worked with. I have worked with, I've been very blessed. Well, again, I'll, well, being a big kid growing up, listening to Kiss right. and idolizing them. Mm -hmm. um, one day, my producer, Howie, calls me up and, he, and it was my day off from doing my record. He's like, dude, get up here, man. Some guys are up here and they, they want you to come in and co-write their new album. I get up there, it's Gene Simmons, Vinnie Vincent from Kiss. I'm like, I'm not worthy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so I went in and I wrote uh, some parts on the, uh, their Revenge album. I also worked with Tom Jones. I did guitars with him. I worked with, oh, Vinnie Vincent. I worked with numerous, numerous artists. I really f apologize um, if I did not mention anyone's names, okay. um, but a, a number of wonderful, wonderful artists. I'm sure they're very, very proud of you because of you know what you've turned out to be and um, how long have you been producing music? I've been producing music um, since about 1995. I mean, I mean, you could say back when I did my first record with Howie, uh -huh. um, but um, I've been producing various, various uh, 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 artists of different genres. Um, and and I, I'm actually working with this band right now called Revlon Red, which is uh, going to be pretty hot. I got I, I, a pretty pretty heavy rock band, and I'm really proud of that work. Good. So uh, you know. Sounds good. Uh, do you have any projects with other groups that are currently in progress? And do you also have a website where people can actually go? Oh, but of course. Let's you? go back. Let's go to the group thing. Okay. Um, I'm actually. I'm, it, it's kind of top secret. <laughs> but I am working with uh, two uh, wonderful, wonderful musicians. One okay. is a female, mm -hmm. and one uh, is, is, a, is a guy that I'm sure you guys will all know, but I, I won't go into details right now. But we're getting ready to do something really cool, kind of punky, and uh, we don't have a name yet. But uh, I'll also, you can check all that stuff out on my MySpace page, uh, forward slash Kelly Raven, or www.kellyraven.com. All right. Kelly, it's time to wrap up the interview. Thank okay. you very much for joining us on the Sonic Showroom today. Thank you. Best wishes for your success. Uh, and I cannot wait to see your album Fantasy. Cool. All right. Beautiful. Thank you guys very much.
to do Just call up one of the mad girlies She'll get busy with you That's all for today, friends. We'll see you next time on the Sonic Show. Bye. <laughs>